Hey guys, today we take a closer look at the 150 watt solar panel for charging the e-bike battery. The panel has a compact A4 sheet size of 20 by 30 centimeters, weighs approximately 3 kilograms, and can be easily unfolded. Here are the solar panels. And here you can see the charge controller. The panel is available separately for 36, 48 and 52 volt batteries. This panel is designed for use with 48 volt batteries. This is marked on the charge controller with the charging end voltage of 54.6 volts. In essence, there are three charging ports available, DC port for charging e-bike batteries, USB-C and USB-A port for charging smartphones, laptops, cameras and many other devices. The USB ports support 5, 9 and 12 volts. Now we will charge this 48 volt battery with a capacity of approximately 720 watt hours and 15 amp hours. It is 11 o'clock in the morning, the sun is shining through a lightly clouded sky and the temperature is around 20 degrees Celsius. According to the BMS smartphone app, the current charge level of this 48 volt battery is between 41.7 and 42 volts. The solar charging power is initially displayed at 1.6 amps and approximately 67 watts. After 6 hours, we conclude the test with a battery charge level of 51.4 volts. The result this battery was charged approximately 60% in 6 hours, going from 41.7 to 51.4 volts. This indicates an average charging rate of approximately 10% per hour. The average current was around 1.6 to 1.7 amps, resulting in an average charging power of about 80 watts. The maximum charging values reached 2.1 amps and 100 watts. These peak values were achieved at midday between 11.30 and 2.30 o'clock. Two important factors affecting the results were the alignment of the solar panel with the sun and the cloud cover in the sky. The manufacturer specifies an efficiency of 80% for the conversion process, which would result in a charging power of 120 watts. However, during this test, the efficiency was not fully achieved likely due to the little clouds in the sky. To get the maximum output, it is important to optimize the alignment of the solar panel continuously, keeping it oriented towards the sun. With an average charging rate of 10% battery capacity per hour, the solar panel proves to be quite useful. Taking a break for just two hours during a longer bicycle ride can result in an additional 20% increase in battery range. This makes it a convenient option for recharging on the go. Even when using a 36 volt battery, the average charging rate would still be more than 10%. Moreover, the option to use multiple solar panels simultaneously can significantly reduce charging times, providing even more convenience and flexibility. Additionally, the solar panel's compact size makes it practical for use while traveling, not only for charging the e-bike battery, but also for charging smartphones, laptops and more. That's it with the video. You can find the solar panel in our web shop. It is also linked in the video description. If you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment. We would be delighted if you subscribe to our channel and like this video. Thank you for watching.